Good morning once again, everybody. How you guys doing? It's a very special day today. Very special morning. Not only is it Friday, which makes it very special in itself. It's also official first two day of the season. It's cold out there. Beautiful sunrise this morning. One more to do this week, one more. Let's get ready and let's get it done. So we get our straps all ready on the trailer. All ready to go so as soon as that freight touches the deck, the forklift gets out of the way. Tie it down and be out of here in 15 minutes once they start. So they roll, they, they load these rolls on very fast. They have that little poker that I've shown you in past videos, right? Take a look at these things right here. Sort of like these rolls here. They're a little different, the ones I'm I'm hauling, but they're the same idea. They throw them onto my trailer so fast every morning. I, I never have time to even film them going on <laughs> by the time he, he throws one on I throw the strap through it through the center he puts the next one on I throw the strap through the center by the time he puts the last one on all the other ones have the straps through them already I th throw the straps through the last one and then I quickly run around to the other side ratchet them all up grab my paperwork and <laughs> I'm out of here on the way to Wapton it's Friday so it's gonna be a bit of a rush today on purpose we're gonna get down there as fast as we can unload as fast as we can, turn around, come back, and we're only gonna stop for fuel on the way back. Other than that, we're going straight back. I want some time at home to relax this weekend, and it's gonna be a busy weekend, and it's, it's a good thing. I've been telling you guys for the past couple of days, it's Thanksgiving this weekend, Canadian Thanksgiving. We do ours in October, you do yours in November. I understand. Thanksgiving this weekend, so we have a family gathering and food to eat Saturday, a family gathering and food to eat Sunday, family gathering and food to eat on Monday. And somewhere in there yet, I want to sit on the couch for at least a little bit. And I got to work in the shop too. I got to wash the truck. Old Blue hasn't had a bath in two weeks. It's embarrassing. I didn't have any time last weekend, so I have to make time this weekend. I'm not starting another week with a dirty truck. So I'm gonna go and wash it uh, tomorrow morning, I guess, before we go anywhere. So it's gonna be a good weekend. It's gonna be a good weekend. I'm looking forward to it. But for today, let's get to trucking. We're gonna hammer down. There's four of us here today pulling loads. I don't know if there's any more coming, but there's four here right now. There's me and old blue right here. The frost on the hood again. Pedro right there. And there's Mike and Ernie over there all ready to go first thing in the morning I'm pretty sure all the other guys here are gonna have the same mindset as me today so it's gonna be a race down there and a race back we all want to go home for the weekend If you're new to the vlog here, welcome here. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos pretty much every day for the most part. You can see what life is like as a truck driver from my perspective. I'm based out of Southeast Manitoba, which is in uh, Central Canada, Western Canada. If you follow, if you're from the US, to give you a little bit of a an idea of where that is. If you follow I-29 straight north to the Canadian border, I live just an hour north up that road for the most part, right, right around that area there. So eastern North Dakota and western Minnesota are right south of me. If 
wondering what life is like as a truck driver up here in Canada and the US, you can follow my videos and find out. I think I'm going to need to get a new auxiliary cable for my radio here. Does anyone else have that problem? Every time I get an auxiliary cable for the radio, it lasts about like three months and then it starts making that weird noise. Exit 23A. That's our exit. Just about there. I'm gonna unload these in record time. Okay, 16 minutes. That's my that's my record from when I stop the truck to when I get back in the truck empty. Fueling up at Flying J Fargo. I fueled up every day here this week to compare day to day. And this week, fuel has gone up from Monday to Friday by 50 cents per US gallon. I fueled up here for $4.69 or $4.70 on Monday. Today's Friday, I'm filling up for $5.20 a, a gallon, a US gallon. That's 188 per liter, so it's still cheaper than in Canada. Not by much. Just by a couple of cents. And uh, I've been burning about the same amount of fuel every day. Get this. So on Monday, which was the third, I put in 344 liters, 91 gallons. Cost me $409 US, $558 Canadian. On Tuesday, burned a little less fuel, only 287 liters, 76 gallons. Cost me $357 US, $482 Canadian. October 5th, I did pretty good. 293 liters, 77 US gallons, about the same as Tuesday. This is Wednesday. Instead of 357 US, it cost me 379 US and $516 Canadian. Yesterday, we spent $599 Canadian, $436 US. Today, on Friday, we spent $470 US, $645. Canadian. So in one week with these crazy fuel prices because of everything going on on the other side of the planet right now, Monday we started off spending, I'm going to talk Canadian dollars here, we started off spending $558 Canadian. Today for almost the exact same amount of fuel, just a couple of liters off, so $558 on Monday, same amount of fuel today on Friday, cost me $645. That's per day. So an increase of almost about $90, almost $90 per day more on Friday than it was on Monday. So in US dollars, it cost me oh, $410, let's say, round it up, $410 US on Monday, $469 or $470 on Friday. So in US dollars, it costed me $60 more and that's just one week and they're still going up per day sixty dollars more per day us it may not sound like a lot but when you run this truck day after day after day five days a week 60 times five it's a lot of money or in canadian dollars ninety dollars times five what is that four hundred and fifty dollars more per week 
that I'm spending now. $900, $1,800 more per month. Just in the rise in fuel costs, just from one, you get it, you get it. I'm not gonna repeat myself again or I'm gonna make myself angry. Wonderful. Shout out to Robert though, who is here in the red Volvo right beside me. Uh, he said hi to me at the pump here. He recognized me. He, he was just here and then he took off. I don't know where he went, but uh, he might. I might meet him inside. We've had two days in a row when the scale wasn't open, just crossing back into Canada here. And now on Friday, on Friday, they got the guts to open up on a Friday trying to ruin my weekend it's not gonna work I won't let them I think they're gonna be pretty proud of me I think I lost some weight this week but if not they're probably just gonna laugh at me I'm not gonna let that ruin my weekend though this is the scale in Emerson Manitoba just over the border from North Dakota in the US it's open quite often but uh, the last two days it's been closed I guess three just isn't the term anymore. It's kind of like a maze to get in here. They redid everything and now it's a little bit confusing for people who haven't been here before. Okay, bud. T -t Today, ma'am. Come on. I'm driving well under the speed limit there. I don't know why. Each their own, I guess, better than going well over the speed limit. Let's see what the scale house has to say about my weight today. They better not laugh, okay? Don't destroy my self-esteem right before the weekend. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. Next week, oh boy, next week they are going to be so mad. I'm going to show up here next week. I'm definitely going to be heavier. We have three Thanksgiving dinners this weekend. I mean, they might pull me in. I don't know. They might want to do an inspection. They might be a little concerned. But, you know, with it being Thanksgiving, they should understand. Okay, they're telling me to go forward. They want my next axle. Have a good Thanksgiving, Trucker Josh. Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't want to talk to you. You go home and have some turkey. Achoo! Woo! That was an excited sneeze. Oh, no more scales to from between here and home. Unless if the 159 is open. Knock on wood. I was telling Pedro just this morning, I was like, yeah, you know, the scales are never open all the way down to Wapton. What do you know? Today the inspection station was open. Just uh, between Fargo and Grand Forks, they were doing inspections, but I got the bypass, so got lucky but I shouldn't have said anything this morning I jinxed it for everyone else so I apologize easy old blue I know you're excited we'll get there home's not going anywhere